Hello students. I am Dr. Kumar Dhatkar, Assistant Professor of Kumar Pratyan, Faculty of Ayurvedic Science in Jyoti Vidya Peet, Pimits, University, Jaipur, Rajasthan. Today's topic, we will discuss about life-saving measures in children. So in this session, we will talk about some events like shocks, anaphylactic, anaphylaxis, some other uh, diseases like foreign body, stuck in uh, respiratory tract and stratus atleticus. So first of all, we discuss about shock. So definition is, shock is the state of reduction in effective tissue perfusion resulting in a insufficient utilization of oxygen and nutrients to the tissue. The result is an altered cellular and subcellular function leading leading to anaerobic metabolism, accumulation of lactic acid, consequently cellular damage, multinal organ dysfunction, and finally cardiovascular collapse. So classification is, shock can be classified into following four major categories. First is hypovolemic, plasmic loss, third hemorrhagic, and fourth is endocrine disorder. First is hypovolemic. Hypovolemic means reduced intravascular volume. Reduced venous return to the heart, resulting in a decreased oxygen and other substrate delivery insufficient to the tissue. Causes fluid and electrolyte losses, acute gastrointestinitis, excessive sweating, and renal diseases. Second is plasma loss. Plasma loss is due to burn, third space loss, intestinal obstruction, and parotinitis. Third, hemorrhage. Hemorrhage, internal, external trauma, bleeding disorder, internal because of visceral injury, fracture, gastrointestinal bleeding. And the fourth cause of shock is endocrine disorder. First is diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. Cardiogenic impairment in cardiac function result from abnormality in cardiac rhythm or function. Commonly, this is caused by impairment in myocardial contractility. So, what is the causes of cardiogenic impairment? So, first is cardiac insufficiency, cardiac myopathies, congenital heart disease, and drug intoxication. And obstructive lesions, pulmonary embolism, and pericardinal tamponade. And the third is distributive alternation of vascular tone, either primary or secondary neural hormonal changes. Causes is anaphylaxis, drug overdose, and neurogenic shock. Fourth is septic shock. This has a feature of all above mentioned type. Result when infection and infection induce mediator in the blood stream leading to circulatory decompensation. So now stages of shock. First is compensated pre-shock. Second is decompensated organ hypoperfusion. Third is irreversible. So compensated is the uh, homeostatic mechanism maintain perfusion of the essential organ. Blood pressure, cardiac function and urine output may appear to be normal in compensatory stage of shock. Decompensated organ hyperperfusion, circulatory compensations fail, leading to manifestations of abnormality in all organ system. The third stage of shock is irreversible, end organ failure. So progressive reduction in cardiac output with multiple organ failure. In this clinical parameter and stage of shock. So, Heart in uh, first is clinical features, heart rate. So heart rate is tachycardia. Tachycardia, respiratory rate increase, blood pressure normal, skin become cold. That has been in a false state, compensate stage. Mental state, status is distress, clear but distress. Urine output normal. And the second stage is decompensated, the marked tachycardia. 
respiration increased, blood pressure low, skin is cool and molded, mental state is confused or obtended, and urine is oligoidal. Stage third is irreversible. So tachycardia is severe, severe tachycardia, respiration, respiration failure, blood pressure un, unrecordable, and skin is cool, cyanotic, and moated, mental state in coma, urine is and urea. So what is the management of shock? So first is oxygen administration, root therapy, and cardiovascular support. No drops increase myocardial contractibility, glutamine and dopamine, yes, vasopressure, increase systemic and pulmonary vascular resistance, no epinephrine, has to be given. Vasodilator to reduce systemic and pulmonary vascular resistance, increase cardiac output, and simultaneously reduce myocardial oxygen demand. Nitroprusside. And inodilator, inotrops plus vasodilator improve cardiac contractibility and reduce after load. So now management of shock. Again, laboratorial investigation, fluid therapy, 20 ml per kg bolus up to 60 ml per kg. Correct hyperglycemia, hypoglycemia, fluid refractory, fluid responsive shock observation in PICO. And CVP measure to start dopamine at 10 milli microgram per kg per minute to start arterial pressure monitoring. So dopamine resistant shock, warm shocking start norepinephrine, cold shocking start epinephrine. This shock persists, cotecholamine resistant shock, so hydrocortisone has to be given. And the next is anaphylaxis. What is anaphylaxis? Definition is an IgE mediated life threatening clinical syndromes that occur when large quantity of inflammatory mediators are released from mast cell and basophil with exposure to an allergy, allergen to which the individual has been sensitized. Etiology is food, drug, and biological product and idiopathic. Food, peanut, tree nut, walnut, hazelnut, and cashew nut, milk, egg, fish, seed, some fruits, and grains causes anaphylaxis. And drugs are penalis, penicillin, cephalosporin, streptomycin, and dextrin. Biological product is blood product, vaccine, intravenous immunoglobulins, and idiopathics. So, path what is the pathology of anaphylaxis? So if an individual with a specific IgE antibody get exposure to an allergen, IgE antibody get fixed on high affinity cell surface receptors of mast cells and basophils. Cross linkage of numerous IgE antibody molecule occupying the FCERI receptor. Activation of mast cells and result in intracellular free calcium labor. Cytoplasmic granules fuse with each other, causing release of mediators of inflammation like histamine and many others. So, what is the clinical features? First is pruritus, urticaria, bronchus, pars, puff, a sensation of warmth, major congestion, and weakness, loss of consciousness. Investigation says elevated IgE, elevated plasma histamine. Management is assess the circulations, airway, breathing, mental status, skin, and body weight. Skin is inject epinephrine. I am in mind interior literal aspect of thigh, 0.01 mg per kg of 1 is 2000. Next, 0.3 mg in child. Record the time of dose and repeat this in 5 to 15 minutes if needed. Most patients respond to one to two doses. If needed, then go for oxygen therapy and IV normal saline. Substance commonly accounted for poisoning in children. 
kerosene and other hydrocarbons household product like insecticide acid etc plant product like the tura pesticide etc and food poisoning is venomous bites and stings so what is the management of substance commonly accounted for poisoning in children first is laboratorial investigation managing and protect the air pay breathing and circulation in comatose child an emergency ivss and the bolus of 2 mg per kg of 25% dextron is given in a comatose child if respiration is shallow iv naloxone in the dose of 0.2 mg per kg is given and the fifth is antidotes promotion of excretion diuretics and foreign body aspiration in respiratory tract so management is most airways foreign bodies are lodged in the bronchus 58% and laryngeal and tracheal location in 10% cases perform bronchoscopy in general inhaled anesthesia control ventilations and muscle relaxation and the last is status apoplecticus apoplecticus what is the definition it is a neurological emergency that may lead to a permanent neurological damage defined as persistent seizure activity and does not regain consciousness for 5 minute or more physiologic neonate birth injury like anorexia and hemorrhages and congenital abnormalities so other metabolic disorder like hypoglycemia hypokalemia or inborn error metabolism like lipidosis and amino acid urea infections like meningitis drug and drug withdrawal early childhood less than 6 year febrile convulsions infection trauma metabolic disorder cerebral degeneration degenerative diseases tumor toxins and idiopathy children and adolescents more than 6 year it is caused by infection trauma epilepsy with inadequate drug level cerebral degenerative disease tumor and toxics and idiopathy so thank you it's all about the life saving measures in the child hope you like that session and it is very beneficial to you so thank you thank you so much